Hey y'all, this is Anna Alexander. Welcome back to my basement. We are here for the season three premiere of Lucifer. So Lucifer took the blade, created a portal for mom to go and create another universe. Okay, I don't care because she hurt Linda. She can go to hell, back to hell. She can go back to hell because you don't hurt Linda. Mm -mm -mm. But we ended with a cliffhanger. Yes, I turned and I blinked when Lucifer got into the head, missed it, but he was kidnapped by whom? Unknown, and he has his wings, how? Unknown, and he went through what? Flayed desert, unknown. So are we gonna get those answers in episode one? Or are they gonna string it out for a little bit? <laughs> I cannot wait to find out, and I'm so glad that you are here with me on a day that is as hot as Satan Satan is. <laughs> it's been warm. Heat advisory up here in the Pacific Northwest. So I'm kind of happy to be down in the basement, but I will not be using the big comfy blanket. No, I will expire. But I do have, um, basically I'm just taking whatever liquor is left in the bottles, trying to empty it so I don't have to move with extra bottles. So I don't know. I got something in here with gingerbread and lime. Should be lovely. Let me know what you've thrown together. Also remember, full episode watch along is still available on Patreon. I would love to see you there. So, okay, y'all, let's get to this. Well, we got an ambulance service. Oh, no, 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 that's the armored car. Armored car service. Well, nowhere. Or it's a robbery in process. <laughs> okay, Lucifer. Now, Amenadil's wings just kind of folded up. Do you? Do you not? There we go. There we go. At least I'm heading fast. Do you have any aloe vera? I ain't going back to L.A. But I rob things. Hold on, you're not a real armored truck driver, are you? Don't I know you from somewhere? Oh yes, yes, you're that jewelry thing. Oh, you. Um, you got me in jail. Then how did you get out? It's time for you to go. <laughs> oh, you are a tenacious one. I'll give you that. Respect. <laughs> you one crazy ass bitch. Now get out of the truck now. Sorry, did you did you not just hello? Shoot me, Mister. What's your name? Set out, bitch. Mister Set out, bitch. Tell me, <laughs> what is it you really desire? Oh yeah. He wanted to open something like a store, a bakery or something funky. I just want to get out of here, man. Right, freedom, of course, that hasn't changed. Well, then we might be able to help each other. Is that the premiere season two? Was the robbery? It's all starting to merge together in my brain. He's not slowing down. Hello there. <laughs> hey, I'm Lucifer Morningstar, consultant for the LAPD. <laughs> I've apprehended this stolen vehicle and all of its contents. <laughs> You're welcome. Partner name and badge number! Oh, God. Hot as hell out here, isn't it? Waka, waka, waka. Hold on! What'd you do with the real thief? I don't think he'll be bothering you for a very, very long time. <laughs> Oh, Lucifer, you just set him on his tidy whities out into the desert. To, to certain doom? Oh. Oh, hello. Hello. Yeah, here. Well, I wasn't sure what you fancied, so I ordered a little of everything. Hey, one, Lucifer, how long have you been gone? Two, Benjamin, what do you do? Who are you? What do you do? Hello, sir. I thought since I was responsible for your current state, the least I could do is heal you. And yes, Benjamin is part of the package. <laughs> do we do right, sir? You do right. Uh, well, don't worry. He'll be gentle. Mm. I was going to say, unless you don't want okay, him to be. What's going on? <sighs> How long have you been gone, Lucifer? I, I didn't know that they could grow back. I don't think he did either. But it's no biggie. I cut them off once and I can cut them off again. Not now. 
Well, I thought, what with your medical expertise and training... Well, it's just snip, snip, and Bob's your uncle. Yeah, well, God's your father, Lucifer. And things are never simple with him. You don't know why for sure your wings have returned. They've returned because Dad is a control freak. Or did you earn them, Lucifer? Think this through before you do something rash. I almost died because of your family drama. Right. But you can definitely text me Ben's number, though. Oh, God, it's hard enough just to scratch your own back. Right, it's OK, it's OK. You can call off the search party. I'm unharmed. How long were you gone, Lucifer? How long has he been gone? Your absence, I saw you two days ago. I thought you were just avoiding meeting the new lieutenant. Two days, and who's the new lieutenant? But right now, we need to figure out who kidnapped me. OK, I'll play. Who kidnapped you? I don't know. That's why you need to find out. Uh-huh. You don't believe me? Uh-huh. Where does that mean it I'll take you to the scene of the crime. Come on. Come on. Oh, that scene of the crime. I thought he meant the hospital. That really was the scene of the crime. Well, I don't see anything. What? I... Look, Lucifer, if you regret what you said, if this kidnapping tale is some... Just do it now. Just unfurl right now. Just get it done. Wow. Detective, I swear, this is the scene of a despicable crime. Are there feathers? Are there feathers? Oh, oh, hello. Excuse me? Um. Okay. The only thing stronger than his desperate desire to live was Son. I think that's a crime, the crime scene. The, I don't think you're supposed to be laying and rolling in the crime evidence, right? Who is he and what does he have to do with me? Steve Benalis, owner and CEO of Angelette Hotel. Angelette. Never heard of him. Angelette. How do we get stuck with the B team anyway? Lucifer, this is Lancaster PD. The crime scene is oh. on the LA border, so they're here helping. I mean, I think they're doing a great job. Jeez, these Lancaster guys are a bunch of tools. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, detective. Detective. So what'd you find? Looks like a keychain. Aren't you supposed to take a photo of where it was first? In relation to other things? <laughs> Just a keychain and a block of sand. But I need to do one more lap of the scene. Want to make sure we didn't miss anything. Just don't want to disappoint our new lieutenant. Who's the new lieutenant? The guy is a serious rock star. We are so lucky, and I hear he's a total sweetie pants to boot. Doubting this. Tom! 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 I'm Lieutenant Marcus Pierce. Tom. Tom. All right, back to it. Oh. I saw Tom. Tom. So I'm really excited to work with you. I wish I could say the same. So aren't you that corrupt cop that got off easy? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You must be Lucifer. Morning, Star. Pleasure. There was an investigation last year. We interviewed, what was it, 92 of your sexual partners? I think I'll refrain from physical contact, if you don't mind. You don't seem reckless. Narcissistic, hedonistic. That I see. Well, thank you very well, much. Who was he been getting this information from? Files as long as my Johnson. Not, oh, wait, <laughs> not right, from. Well, I for one from don't need a file to ask though. Dan. You haven't even had a snog in ages, have you? Accurate. I've been looking all over for you. Through here, go. Oh, yeah. Through the glass windows. Show him. Boom. I want to reveal. I was kidnapped. No, Lucy. I meant mom. Oh. <laughs> He hasn't here. Didn't you get my text? He didn't hear. And you sent it over a text. You fire, sword, donut, spaceman, clock, dancing lady, flashlight, thumbs up. You sent a text. Ignited the flaming sword, used it to cut a hole in space and time. Mum's light flooded through it, then it closed up behind her. All good. And he didn't get to say goodbye to his mother. Mom's. Mom is gone? And he didn't get to say goodbye. Yes, I mean, she says. Goodbye forever. She loves you very much, et cetera, et cetera. But uh, the good news is oh. you get your necklace back. Mm. And we all know how attached to that you are. 
But you threw the sword through the hole. Yes, I was able to slow time, but that appears to have been a one-time thing. You've got your wings back, though. No. Isn't that ironic? You want your wings back and didn't get them, and I get whacked over the head and hauled out to the desert. That's not ironic. Well, not ironic, ironic. More Alanis Morissette ironic. Anyway, the point is, I'm sure your full powers will come back in no time. You probably just need a good nap or eat some mangoes. I've heard they work wonders. He needs motivation. Oh, sorry, we haven't officially met yet. Amela. She hasn't met him yet? After all this time? I mean, I've seen you around doing your handsome broody thing. Whoa, someone works out. Now I know who carries the guns in the family. Right, yes, enough of that. We have a suspect, shall we? Oh, brother, about your problem. You... I think I might have just the remedy. I'll text you the info later. Words this time, please. I was gonna say. <laughs> Whatever this was, it was tasty. I wish I remembered what it was. The mugshot, has he got a record? Yeah, possession of an exotic animal, a tiger, I think. Well, that's illegal, too bad. Didn't Lucifer own a tiger or two at some point? Jim, buying your own Off screen. just to justify your decadent lifestyle. It's absurd. Yeah. Absurd. <sighs> My eldest squid was telling me, Mom, I'm watching reaction videos and there's so many people that I know you know and you have been missing it. Who wants to know? Detective Decker, LAPD. I imagine you recognize me. You got a nice set of cans for a cop. Oh, Jesus, Mary and Joseph. You got a nice ass, too. Yeah? Well, I also got these, and your sorry ass is a suspect in the Steve Vanellis murder. You want to cuff me, honey? You're going to have to catch me. You're on a rooftop bar, sir. <gasps> sir, you are on a rooftop bar, and she pulls a gun. Hey, you tell Steve I am officially impressed. I think this ah. is funny. <gasps> Maybe it's a bit funny. But now he can run away. And you threw him off the roof, and he can run away. Obviously, he didn't. However, he had the opportunity. So, Josh. Why did you kidnap me? I swear, I've never seen you before you try to kill me today. Oh, really, Joshy? Excuse us. <laughs> Out! What? What are you doing? Consulting. Then consult less. <laughs> I didn't kill Steve, man. I would never. That's the key I gave to the fake kidnappers. Fake? Yeah. They get paid to abduct people. Ah, oh, this kind of a dude. The fake kidnapping was retaliation for the tiger Steve put in my backyard. What's the name of the company? Snatched. Mm -hmm. Of course it is. Super under the radar. I, I got the deluxe package. Which includes what? When he didn't show, I just assumed he was busy planning payback. It's why I thought you weren't real cops. I mean, a guy named Lucifer and the chick from Hot Tub Hotel? High school, Hot Tub High School. She wasn't in the sequel. Sorry. <laughs> I knew somebody who'd do that would come and kidnap you if you asked them to. <laughs> yeah. Got your text. What's this magical remedy of yours? Hi, I'm Remedy. Jesus. I'm here to rub you. <sighs> I'll give you a massage. Oh. <laughs> right. Well, why not? Lovely. Looks totally therapeutic. Her outfit. Mm -hmm. We're going to need a bigger towel. <laughs> I know where they are. I'll be right back. Where's Linda? Is it Linda there? <gasps> Wait, he's his feathers. I know there's going to be feathers somewhere. <gasps> Wait. He cut them off again? 
he cut them off again? All we found there was that keychain and our second victim. Wait, second victim? Leo, once a vibrant rock squirrel, now roadkill. Pretty likely the kidnappers are the ones who ran him over. Did they leave a tire track on the squirrel carcass? Sure did. Leo was squashed by a Ryuk road crusher tire, commercial grade. Right, so say your father did hire these fake kidnappers. To... Any idea why? He's angry that I gave Mum her own universe. I'm... I'm trying to leave you here. I understand your confusion, and although I've told you the truth from the beginning, you're a woman of logic and reason, and that... Is he gonna do this in front of Ella? I suppose now is as good a time as any to give it to you. If you had your wings, Lucifer, this would be a little bit more easier to display. Oh, <clears throat> right. Yeah, maybe I should. Which is why I want to show you. We don't have Lucifer, whatever it is that you want to show me, it's okay. I'm here for you. Once and for all, I'd like to show you who I really am. I want them to do this. I want them to really do this. Don't tease us. Just, just do it. Are you ready? Oh my God, what? Are you gassy? <laughs> How do I understand? I do. You know, I keep caring, and you... You just... No, detective, I... Really am the devil. I did not like that. There has to be a way to find them. If Muhammad won't come to the mountain, the mountain must go to Muhammad. I have no idea what that means, Decker. Well, someone needs to get kidnapped. Now, there's an idea. That I was just suggesting. No one likes a credit hog, Decker, no. Oh. Oh? Well, I'd like to volunteer. Oh. All right, we need somebody who's a lot less, well, everything. Esperanza. Es Espinoza. And sure, that makes, uh, makes sense. I have the most experience in the field, so if something goes wrong, then... You're expendable. Thank you. Now go get kidnapped, Esperanza. Could he be any more of an ass? <laughs> I'm gonna guess yes. I don't need an ass, Lieutenant. You know, the truth is I am feeling expendable. Why? It's not because Pierce said it. It's because of Charlotte. Oh, yeah. She remembers nothing. It happened at the beach. She's acting like she doesn't even know me. I'm not an idiot. I know she was using me at first, but it didn't seem like she actually cared. I'm sorry, Dan. Yes, and I'm sorry too, Daniel, but I can't hear you. Could you speak up, please? I know you were talking about Charlotte, and as douchey as you may be, and I know you can't help it, her current behavior has nothing to do with you. And as much as I appreciate the pep talk, Lucifer, it was kind of you that got me in the whole Charlotte mess in the first place. Can I help? That's very nice of you, Wendell. You a believer? Ah. Hmm. Then whatever it is you're going through, I'm sure it's all part of his plan. I mean, even the most pathetic, sad sack, powerless of creatures serve a purpose. <laughs> pathetic, sad sex. I mean, God works in mysterious ways. So you just gotta believe that when he crushes your nuts, he does it for a reason. You gotta have faith, right? All right. Mm -hmm. So your nuts are getting cracked a minute ago. Kidnappers are crack, seven minutes crack. late. Yeah, well, we didn't give him a lot of prep time. Don't worry. And you're just standing out there like a, like a tool ready to be kidnapped. Look a little bit less uh, tooly, Dan. Oh, lovely! Right on time. Are they going to kidnap Lucifer? Hello. Right. How do we do it? Oh, careful! I bruise like a peach. Oh, jeez. Serious. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Legs are crossed. <laughs> but let's start with how did you abduct me the first time? Hmm? Well, you were paying. Uh... <laughs> what are you doing? Stop it. That tickles. 
We used this last week, right? Yeah. On him? On him. On Lucifer? No one if we get the charge of it. <laughs> Just don't get it. Hey, it's going to run. No! Where, where, where? <laughs> They're clutching each other. <laughs> that remind me to kick his ass for humiliating me in front of Pierce. Well, I'll help you if we can find him. Don't you have his phone on GPS or something like that? There you go. She's on Alameda Street. Unfortunately, I think we're dealing with some pretty crafty bad guys. Never even heard of you before today. I just got a name, Daniel Douche, a pickup point, and that you got a thing for gerbils. Daniel Douche. To deny abducting Mr. Bananas and leaving him to perish in the desert, do you? His friend got him to the deluxe package. Uh. We did the detail work here, and then our partner Sam picked him up, took him to the spider hole for a few hours, and dropped him back off the hotel. Thanks for your help. <laughs> hey, man! <laughs> hey, let us go, man! <laughs> We're screwed. Remember the detective who found the keychain? It doesn't exist, at least not a Lancaster PD. Oh. You think that was our guy? Probably. Let's just look through these photos, try and find him in the background, okay? You guys, I knew I knew he didn't die in vain. What? Who? The squirrel. There's our suspect, right? Leaving the scene, walking towards that van. With the plates. <laughs> Remember me. Does he? Does he? Unless Dad got jiggy with some celestial babe after Mum, then you're not my sibling, so demon. Now, well, do you know what? It doesn't matter what you are because this should take care of you. I'm sorry. I left that Steve guy there. He was just a routine gig. I was gonna swap him for him, but when I went to pull you out of the van, you you had freaking wings, man. I swear, I believe me, I didn't want to run, but you scared the hell out of me. So he left Steve there? I define who I am, not him, me. Oh, the wings came back. Oh, bloody hell. They're back, aren't they? And I don't know your dad. Unless, is your, is your dad the sinner man? That's, that's who, who hired me to kidnap you. Sinner man. He's, he's a scary dude, huge crime boss. I owed him big time. But because I didn't finish the job, I'm as good as dead now. That's why I was running. A sinner man who's a huge crime boss. How do they not if we go, ah? Decker, it ain't good. Look, I, I know what you're going to say, but here's what you got to know about our unorthodox method. Detective, I you... am Lucifer's partner. Yes, you're right. But you know what? He's mine too. And for whatever reason, we make an effective team. And we'll be even more so when I stop investing on a um, personal level. I am here to solve crimes. Not Chloe. His... Um, okay. Chloe forgot. Okay. Well, investigation. Don't say more than you need to. I just came down here to let you know that your perp has been released on bail. What? Wait, how is that possible? Don't know. Friends in high places, I guess. He just walks right past you. Oh, Sinner Man's guys. Got it. Uh, hello, brother. So did Remedy cure what ails you? No, mine are still absent. But yours, on the other hand... Lucifer, I'm not angry with you that you somehow got your wings back. I'm angry with myself. He lost his faith? Because somehow I made you feel like you couldn't confide in me. I am an angel. A soldier of God, his favorite son. Wings or no wings? Oh, that's gonna be a thing, isn't it? <laughs> I was tested once and I failed. I'm not gonna fail again, because this time I have faith. I suppose this won't bother you. Well, like I said, I have faith. I'm sure it's all a part of God's plan. Do you? He didn't just give my wings back took my devil face as well. Lucy, do you realize what this means? He's no Perhaps father is trying to show you that, that you've been forgiven. What if I don't want his forgiveness? But brother, if you can be redeemed. I got a question. I got a question. I got a question. I'm not sure that this is divinity at work here. Have you ever heard of someone named the Sinner Man? No. Why? That's who kidnapped me. Oh, 
Well, here's Sam. Maybe this isn't our father who art in heaven at all, but something much, much darker. Okay, thought number one, because I got a lot. Okay, so, a minute ill. Sing, Lucifer, your wings back and not being able to do the devil face. To come later. This is Father forgiving you. You can be redeemed. Lucifer, I don't want his forgiveness. We haven't heard specifically what Lucifer did to be sent to be the ruler of hell. Okay, he lead, led a revolution, a rebellion. What happened during that rebellion? I want to know the details because if his punishment was being sent to hell, it seemed as if he had quite a bit of freedom because he was able to go up to earth, experience humanity whenever he wished, and then he left and said, I'm gonna stay here for a while. So I want those details. And yeah, if, if you don't want someone's forgiveness, you don't have to accept it. <laughs> Especially if you feel, and we haven't heard specifically from Lucifer, does Lucifer feel as if he's done anything that needed forgiveness? Question two, right, him not having his Satan face, does he really not have the Satan face? Because we only saw him try to do it in front of Chloe. We haven't seen him try to do it elsewhere. Although with Sam, that would have been the perfect time to do at least devil eyes. So did he really lose his devil, Satan, whatever? I know some of you are all saying there's a difference between Satan, devil. Mm -hmm. Mr. Redman. <laughs> Does he really not have access to it? What does that mean? If he's full on angel, angel? Lucifer now, angel, angel. Oh my gosh, I had more questions. What were they? His revealing his true self to Chloe. Just do it already. Just do it already. Don't do all these fits and starts and I'm gonna do it and something interrupts him. I need something new. Just do a reveal of some sort. <laughs> I was gonna ask, Maze is on a bounty for who? But then I remembered somebody mentioned an uh, actress at this time was expecting a baby. So she's probably out bounty hunting her baby. <laughs> and Dan, they're making rather sad, like, sad, like, not pathetic, but he's reaching patheticness. It'd be nice to see him rally a little bit. Although I don't know if improv is how I want to see Dan rally mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but it sounds as if sinner man is going to be our baddie for at least some of this season will we see charlotte again question mark question mark although i think we do and i want the reveal just reveal just do the reveal mm -hmm. i've heard some of you say season three was a fave i've heard other of you say you hated this season be interested to see how it shakes out but it's a long one and i want you there with me every step of Way. So if you haven't already, please hit subscribe so you know when the next video drops. I may be here. I may be elsewhere, but I'd love to see you there. And until then, please take care of yourselves. Wear your sunscreen. Stay hydrated. Um, do better than me. Get more better rest than me. And, and then come back and watch the next video in the queue. So thanks again, you all. And until next time. <laughs>